What's up, y'all? Quick disclaimer. Um, for those that are upset at the fact that you felt as though um, I was saying that Krishan lied about this, um, I'm going to say publicly that I apologize for obviously misleading um, or giving misleading comments to make it seem as though she was lying about what she went through. Um, I was simply, you know, telling y'all that all of them are, have been characters in this circus. It's hard to believe any of them, to be honest with y'all. But, you know, most of y'all went with what I said with Krishan. So um, for those that are adults and know how to handle conversation and um, can, you know, help a person through, guide them through what you just heard or whatever you, however you want to put it, I appreciate y'all. Uh, those that don't like me anymore because... Um, you, you know, I may have said something that was, uh, I'm, I'm going to say misleading. Well, there's the door. All right. Um, in this video, I'm simply speaking about uh, how they all have shown that they lie and they have been characters in this. Also, the breakdown of Krishan upbringing um, that I wasn't aware of as well and how she's been feeling about her sister from the jump. From now on, when I react to anything dealing with this M word or S.A., I will not be giving my opinion. I will simply just react to it and I will keep it moving. Y'all enjoy. What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. So we about to get into something a little real that I didn't want to discuss, but here we are. Um, So let's get into it. So yesterday I made a video on um, Rashawn and Tesseki's situation, reacting to the trailer you know, as far as I was concerned, I just felt like I wanted to talk about it, but just not really talk about it. And to be honest, it was some uncomfortability there because I've dealt with this as well, right? Um, and dealing with it, sometimes you're not going to have the best words in speaking about it, right? And especially to some of the people that have dealt with this as well, I don't even believe you will receive it the way I'm trying to give it if you don't have an open mind to it, right? So, for one, for those that don't know, it was about Krishan being essayed by Taseki. Taseki said some, you know, some horrendous things I don't even want to repeat. Um, not Taseki, Krishan said a, a horrendous statement that I don't want to repeat uh, about Taseki. And quite frankly, where I was simply coming from is both of them um, are victims, which is true. Uh, and I'm saying that because it happened to Taseki. And if Taseki allegedly did that, she did it to Krishan. Um, something I want y'all to look up is C O C S A. Um, it is, I, I really don't want to say the words, but obviously you know what a C is, you know what we're talking about. If you are in your youth, C on C S A. All right, put two and two together, look it up, C-O-C-S-A. So for those that don't know, the same thing happened to me. Not obviously, not that specifically, but, um, you know, M-word, S-A, um, was happening, happening to me as well. And, you know, I understand that I'm wearing boy clothes, but I'm still a woman. So unfortunately, as a little girl, I went through some things that I obviously did not want to experience, but here we are. Um, and since we're talking about like abusers, I'm going to say I spoke with my abuser and, you know, I wanted to know like, bro, why did, why did that happen? And not that it was even a thing with me growing up as I got older, as an adult, I realized what that, you know, that that's what that was. And, um, he said, man, you know, it was being done to me. Um, and I'm like, what? So you don't even know that <clears throat> if you don't ask, right? And some people aren't willing to ask, and some people don't have the chance to ask, and I'm just letting y'all know that I did. Um, we spoke about it, and, you know, I, as my decision, chose to forgive him. Uh, everybody does not do that. Everybody does not want to. And depending on how the situation was, you know, maybe I wouldn't have if it were 
different. We all have different situations. I'm not saying one is better than the other. I'm simply saying we all are different. We all have different situations. That's it, right? So with that being said, um, when speaking about this, I didn't, I have not wanted to speak about this at all because it's so personal. But if I didn't, y'all would have came at me like, well, you're not speaking about it. I knew going into that video, it was going to be some people that just wasn't going to rock with me simply because of my opinion. And where it stands is I wasn't there. I was not there. Um, the statement of y'all saying that I'm saying Krishan is a liar and she's lying about this. I simply wasn't saying that. And I'm going to reword and say what I meant. Krishan has lied in the past, which means it will be hard for you to take her word for it. However, that does not mean she's lying. I'm simply saying, though, I was not there. I was not there. I was not there. Also, if I came out and said, yeah, Teseki did that, and Teseki decided to say, you know what? I'm going to sue you, too, for defamation of character, which she would have the right to do so. I just wonder if any of y'all will help me with my, uh, my, my lawsuit bill because it's, it's a possibility that that could happen. And, well, let's just say we're not going to let that happen. I'm not, right? Um, I don't know. I wasn't there. I wasn't there. I wasn't there. Now, before I got into that video, I should have done a little more research on Prashan's history with Teseki. So I'm going to go down the rabbit hole with y'all. Let's get into this right here. This is when uh, Krishan won that um, that thing that she won. I forgot what it was called, but y'all know what I'm talking about. At Santa Monica in California, two years I ran track. Krishan on the track is a beast. It's my world. She likes to outdo herself. Make hmm. a new day. Like, Ironically, I... to say it was there. Yell, scream. Say, ooh. Overcoming it. That's what she's supposed to do. This is where I release all my anxiety. What I come from is kind of what of, like people wouldn't expect. You wouldn't know until I say something. I'm 20 right now. I'm six years older. I'm a family of, well, a sibling of 12. I'm number eight. All right, Krishan said that she 20 right now. Teseki at the time was 26. Rashawn is currently 24. Uh, Teseki is six years older. 5, 26, 27, 28, 29. That is. Now, y'all said that I was lying about her age yesterday. <laughs> 29. You may have a birthday coming up. And therefore, she would be 30. Y'all are saying that she was eight years older than her. I'm just saying. Y'all saying y'all got all the information. Obviously, we don't have all the information. But I digress. <laughs> I'm number eight out of 12. Krishan is number 11. I grew up a lot of areas. Radish, Franklin, McCullough. My dad was incarcerated for 11 years. My mom was at work a lot. Yeah, like, and then, like, she, she was on drugs. When I was little, she used to braid my hair and walk me to school. <sighs> she used to braid my hair, walk me to school, and things like that. Um, and then it starts slowly progressing to her always in the bed. Um, I, I witnessed my dad, you know, abuse her. I met him when I was seven because he came home. He was locked up for like, for like I don't know how long. I went through abuse, so like getting like either choked out or like beat on. We went from one, like probably one bedroom apartment, and it's all of us to living with people. I say nine years I've been homeless for. When I was nine and when 
I first went homeless and when she said we was going to get a home, like. So a lot of people sent me this video because they wanted to confirm that Krishan was saying something about her being abused. Um, and correlating it to Tesekian abuse. But she's saying that it was her dad, so we're going to continue. In a couple of days, I believed that. And I kept believing that. And it ended up being like, oh, I'm, I'm 15, 16 now. I'll go through all my day because I'm focused in my class, my friends. Oh, at lunch. Oh, we're going, oh, I got training with this coach. But then when all that's over, I'm like, oh, shit. I don't have a home. I start getting love and support from like my coaches, my friends, and things like that. And then everything just start changing for me. Here's Shawnee. I'm the youngest in the competition. I've been through more than most. It was um, that's a copyright. So. I was like, yeah, we we knew Krishan was just coming here for a month. Yes, I need the money. It's not a sad story, it's a motivation story. <laughs> For her to be, still be up on top, like, hey, I'm right here, that shows you that she is a warrior. As a young, black, beautiful woman, I am a survivor. She's a champion, period. Just breathe. Since I didn't have the ch I should have, then I can have the future that I deserve. She is so fast. And I absolutely admire that. I actually did not see that. I haven't seen that. I've seen called the ultimate tag too. I've seen her actually compete, but that story part of it, I have not seen that. Thank y'all for sending me that. Um, so Krishan was speaking about how she um, was going through, you know what I'm saying? Abuse and things like that. Um, and that's obviously something that is very, 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 very serious and detrimental. <laughs> To her, all right? All right, so let's get into this. Tell him mine. Like tell Rashawn speaks years ago. All right. I'm the nineteen twenty, bro. Okay. My little brother is like seventeen, eighteen. He's a senior high school teacher on the line. Be my squad went to, bro. He's home. Just where he's living at, bro. With his teammate. Tell me, he's, and his teammate is up the street from my sister Tifa house. It's the same sister that didn't set me up. <laughs> oh, I'm making. So she was insinuating that Taseki set her up. Um, I don't know what she set her up for or about, but yeah. It moved. Whoop -de -whoop -de -whoop. Of course, you don't have haters, but the same hater been there my whole life, which is my sister. I went home as my senior year, I had to move my boy. I'm not gonna speak on what she did, but all my family- Senior year, I had to move in with my boyfriend. I'm not gonna speak on what she did. Y'all were sending to this to me also, insinuating about, you know, the essay. Um, but it sounded like that had something to do with her actual boyfriend. What I would believe is Tesseki took her boyfriend or did something with her boyfriend, allegedly. I'm just letting y'all know. Family, that's, siblings, that's what I got from it. Other than her can vouch that she's a liar and that she's jealous. Swear to God. But Tifa, you, you, you this, you that, you make sure we straight, right? You're telling the whole world that, right? But where a little Petey at, yo? And why he not stand with you? Because he know who you are. Nobody wants to stay with a nigga. I don't want to expose to who you really is. Nigga. I'm thinking I'm getting set up by the people I'm working with. Woo -woo -woo -woo. Ho T is your bitch. But my mom will get on love and say she's lying. My mom, she been said stop with Tifa. Like, what's her mom said stop messing with Tifa. Why? Her mom been playing all them against each other this whole time. 
I don't think a lot of y'all seeing that, but God knows I see it. But anyway, let's continue. Oh, so my I was saying, I'll teach her evil. Teach her this. You're going to go down. I don't. I wish she was not my sister. I swear to God. I wish she was not my sister. I swear to God. You caused, you caused me way more. You caused me way more heartbreak. I'm not going to speak about. Now. She said, you caused me way more harm than help. Something I'm not going to speak about. Is that it? You get what I'm saying? And I wish I seen this before I started uh, talking about this whole situation. Now, what y'all got angry about is the fact that I said that Krishan is a liar. Y'all, she is. You turning against her. Girl, I would tell her this. Literally. We'd probably have to fight. Because I'm, Krishan, stop lying. Some people just be lying. <laughs> Come on. Anyway. But that does not negate the fact that she could have absolutely potentially gone through some shit. So I was not saying that she didn't. I'm saying that I wasn't there though. Okay. I shouldn't even put it together, but here we are. Um, so let's continue. What is bro? And all of them grown as hell. And that's the unfortunate part. But this is the only sister that I got access to. Cool. And then the other sister that I close with Cassie. Her, she just got locked up for like years or whatever. She just disappeared. So, cool. I got my brother Luke. Cool. He disappeared for five years too and he came back. Cool. Cool. So the only person I was stuck with was you, Tifa. And your bitch was you think we in competition? How we in competition? You my big sister. So, yes, why are you putting that? Because I don't know what else she can just keep on saying, but straight up, bro, I've been depressed for like probably a week now, probably three, four days since this shit been happening to me. I've been personally calling her. So she can help me unwind all these weird lies. Hopefully she sees the And I don't know what the weird lies was at the time, y'all. Why, bro? So it's like goes to show like like, well, I really don't have nobody. I just got dug it out so when my other sisters and brothers are ready to talk to me, I talk to them. I just start talking to them more today. Cause Tifa, Tifa kind of like brainwashed me to just be with her. Like, you know how like her sister just, like, yeah, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. And then like always telling me like, you see how nobody else had more time like I do. And I just sit there and all that, you know? It sound like trying to get her up under her wing, like, is what it sound like I'm to saying, me. Like, I got twelve siblings and I do be wondering why they don't... Why do you don't got time for that little sister and little brother? Because my little brother loved the family. My little brother is just like me, with a big heart. Let's talk about what me and my little brother say with you. So look, she keeps saying, oh, you got kicked out. No, 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 no. I wasn't the only one that was just staying with you. It was me and Petey. Me and Petey was with you. Okay, Petey have nothing to do with who Krishan is. Because Krishan is Krishan. All right, let's just, let's just give her that. All right, all right, Krishan, this and this and that. So why Petey leave? The innocent little boy. Why he leave? Because I was leaving? Well, he left because you, because who you are. He just don't want to go homeless. He don't want to thug in that friend's house. He just want to be with that family, yo. He just want to feel love. He just want love, bro. And honestly, I feel like none of them know how to love each other because of 
how they grew up, to be honest with you. Um, so anyway, this was another video of Krishan speaking about Kaseki uh, from a minute ago. Now, the videos that came out a couple of years ago, which is the one that I just played the other day, oh, yesterday. What? Like, not saying, but Tifa and you, Chastity, y'all went through some shit. Like, you know? Yeah. Like, nobody never, you know what I'm saying? I never personally went through something that took my, <laughs> my level, like, like, like my shit away. The only thing that took my shit away was like, mommy always sleep and <laughs> Been at friend's house, but that's it. I don't know. As for my young self, um, it's okay. So, with that right there, I'm, I'm like, I mean, if you did experience something, I don't even think you would want to, like, volunteer that. Because then it would sound like you are lying. Because, remember, she just had a story you know, of her being abused by her dad and things like that. Boom. Which we definitely believe because how he was treating her on Zeus. Um, that, that I, I cannot stand him. Um, and then first they fell out and Krishan has a past of when she fall out with you. She do lie. She, and then she admitted to the lies that she told y'all. So this ain't something I'm making up, right? I'm telling y'all, that's what I was speaking about though. <clears throat> so then she comes out and she like, y'all went through hell. I ain't even experienced nothing. So then she fell out with Tesseki again. And then this happened. Yeah, like, what the fuck? What, 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 what do you want me to say? No, ask like, what you need me to try to get you like get a talk show? Yeah, like you want a talk show? You don't have to talk about me, you don't. You don't. Like, you really don't. Dad. You don't. So you don't have to talk to me. You're my sister. You don't. You, so we don't. Anyway. Real shit. I don't even know what's up with her. Like she's trying so hard, That's too going. hard, and keep I, lying. I don't even reply to them. Let them keep going. They gonna die down. They're high gonna die down. It's not even that. Why won't you worry about your son and the people that your son? Like what? Like you keep saying shit. Then you my other nephew. Like she. She did some weird shit to Tristan. Like, you want to keep airing people out and lying? I'm not lying. I added truth. Oh, no, no, you talking about? Going going She's weird, bro. She got shit under the curtains that she'll never speak about. And, and got, it's cool. It's cool. Whatever. You can lie and all this other shit. My nigga, that whole TV shit stopped. First of all, that shit all fake, all weird. You see your opportunity, you're taking it. Go ahead, take it. So remember, when y'all say she ain't a liar, and then she talk about how the, the TV show is fake and all that, what I'm trying to tell y'all is all of them be lying. All of them be acting. I'm saying all of them. What I was saying. You want to be in my world talking about me so bad. I don't give a f about you and what you do and none of that. Leave me alone. The f And then with. He used to be with Chastity, my big sister, Tareen. Which is crazy work. <laughs> Tareen, tell her tell the truth. Like, come on, yo. Like, nobody want to talk about your, your your skeletons in your closet, but that's what's happening because you want to lie on my name. Like, Wait, you don't have to lie on my name. You're being weird. Leave me alone. What the hell? Y'all is pissing me off. I go to sleep like a couple hours. I wake up. She's lying. The f is going away. The f and then everybody want to act like I want to be honest. I don't have a real relationship with my sister because when I realized when I got older, she didn't really f me too. When we was kids. She was a fast individual, bro. Ask her, ask her about when she wanted to play house. Uh, Did, what, no, because she acting like she ain't really trying to touch me. Like, we don't like each other because our bro. Don't bring, don't be making shit up. Like, yeah, we forgive you and all this other shit. We don't talk about what happened. And, and, and now you're trying to, like, make it seem like something really happened, something really was going on. First of all, that's all TV. But... If we would be honest, I forgave you the TV. So this TV TV show situation, 
where um, Krishan allegedly had her, her allegedly had Taseki jumped, which we come to find out she didn't. Um, like she said it, that it was fake, but they really fell out about it. And she did really fight Jan, did really fight Marsh, but Marsh felt some type of way. So Marsh wanted to kind of protect Krishan. My point is it was a real thing though. Krishan is saying it's fake. So all I'm trying to tell y'all, it is a difference in a thin line between real and fake. But Krishan has every right to come out and say her truth. And at this moment, I think she was saying whatever her truth is. So I'm going to still say this. I was not there. I don't know what happened. I cannot say this is true for Krishan. I cannot say this is false for Teseki and vice versa. Because if it was vice versa, I would be saying the same thing. I don't know. I was not there. But y'all trying to paint me out to be like I was, like you you call a Krishan a liar as if she never lied before. Huh? <laughs> Are y'all serious? This ain't flip-flopping. This is the truth. So in order for me to flip-flop, y'all want me to lie? Please. It'll never happen. A lot of shit and still forgive me. Just keep my name out your mouth, my nigga. I don't talk about Y'all trolling. I'm at the Hospital. Like, go ahead with that dumb Love shit. You, Appreciate it, bro. She keeps saying stuff and saying. So that's that. Now I also uh, just got a post sent to me about Taseki responding to this. How do you feel about those allegations being thrown at you? When you do you want to address that? Um, it hurt. But at the same time, when you know something isn't true, it really can't phase you. You know what I mean? You're still gonna get up and move the same way you move. You know what I mean? Like, cause I'm that girl. I just, that's what I think. Like, I'm going up and it's like, all these people love me. How can we make them hate her? You gotta come with a lie. You know what I mean? Cause the truth hurt, obviously like, I'm the truth. And it's just so you have to lie on me to make someone hate me. I mean, it's it's unfortunate. It's fucked up because now it's everybody want to apologize to me. Everybody want to. Uh, I didn't mean to do no. You have to stand on it and stay over there. Because if I made you mad from just getting on the TV screen and now I'm all of these things, these nasty things. How do you feel? About so I I need to find the rest of that. But um, from her body language. And, and what she's saying, and, and once again, this is alleged, girl, because this ain't nothing but my opinion. I definitely feel like something absolutely happened from from seeing this shit. <laughs> because what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm that girl. Like, what? Anyway, something I definitely do feel like happened. However, I can't say what that is because I wasn't there. I'm going to stand on that and I'm going to keep saying that. I wasn't there, y'all. That's why I'm saying alleged. You have to say things like that because you're going to help me with my, my lawsuit. No, I know you're not. No. So, allegedly, um, her body language there is given definitely a little weird to me. Um, and, you know, we wasn't there. I don't know what happened exactly. Um... So that's it. Let me see. If... I hate to see siblings against one another. I hate that my kids are so tight for them. That money and demons. Out of what I instilled in them. But God knows they forgive each other millions of times. And I can count on him. Even them no matter what. The fruit is so or whatever. All right. So with that being said, um, we're going to end this video. What I was trying to What's tell y'all. What I was trying to tell y'all was, um, y'all, I've been a realist since the beginning, right? As real as I'm going to get anyway. And people do lie, all of them. Um, however, that does not mean that what Krishan is saying didn't happen. If I said that or, or if y'all took it that way, I apologize because that's not, you know, what I meant. And I'm going to say this in the beginning of the video, too. Um, that's not what I meant. I'm, I'm just simply saying that 
all of them have been characters in this in this circus. How can you just believe anything that's coming out of either one of their mouths, to be honest with you? And it's such a sticky situation from now on. I won't be giving my opinion. I'm just going to react to it and keep it moving. Uh, not so much giving my opinion because um, I, don't, I don't have time. It's, it's, it, this ain't even my situation. Y'all y'all flipping on me like I'm the one who did it. You know what I'm saying? And I, I don't appreciate that, quite frankly. Because um, I wasn't the one that did it. I wasn't. So, <sighs> y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Um, to those that support me and can have an adult conversation and understand that people say things in the moment that may make mistakes, thank you for understanding that. And for those that don't like me and want to go to whatever side you want to go to, there is the door. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.